This area in the middle of nowhere. Construction is underway in Nevada at what will be the largest lithium mine in the U.S. Is worth over a trillion dollars. Deep inside a northern Nevada volcano, deposits of what some are calling white gold or the new oil. Straddling the silent borderlands of Nevada and Oregon, an ancient and sprawling landscape suddenly dominates scientific headlines. Concealed beneath vast sagebrush prairies and rugged volcanic rocks lies the McDermott Caldera, an unassuming scar on the face of North America's geology, but one that now stirs in a way that demands attention. For decades, McDermott faded from public memory, dwarfed by more famous giants like Yellowstone, Mount St. Helens, and Long Valley. To most locals, the caldera was just a backdrop for cattle drives and open skies. But today, with unsettling signals emanating from deep below, it has become a focal point of urgency and scientific intrigue. Strange seismic signatures are rumbling beneath the surface, matched by shifting geothermal signals and subtle yet measurable ground movements that seem to rewrite the very landscape with each passing day. These are not merely the static tremors of a sleeping volcano, they are new, unexplained behaviours never before recorded here. In an unusual step, the United States Geological Survey has issued a red alert for the McDermott Caldera, thrusting locals and scientists alike into a state of high vigilance. Landsat images from early July show something clear. A latticework of new fractures snaking across the caldera's rim, bands of old ash interrupted by finger-thin streaks of ancient rhyolite flows. Below this battered crust, a discovery lurks, one that could reshape global conversations about energy, lithium, buried in the residue of ancient eruptions and long-vanished lake beds. As scientists race to decode the accelerating warning signs, residents and researchers alike must confront unsettling questions. Are these recent convulsions mere echoes of natural restlessness or the first indications of a deeper change? What secrets do these rocks conceal and at what cost for those who live above them? The Awakening Giant, a supervolcano's slumber, disturbed where Nevada's high desert meets Oregon's rolling steppe, McDermott's geologic roots run 16 million years deep. This landscape was born in a cataclysm, a supervolcanic eruption of immense force, raining ash across entire regions and shaping North America's natural history. Since then, erosion and countless quiet years have reshaped its story, turning what once was violent into what now seems tranquil. For generations, the caldera has served as little more than a footnote in the lives of those nearby, a silent valley in a land of vast skies. But in recent months, this quiet was shattered. In 2025, satellite imagery from July captured fresh patterns of fracture lines striping the caldera floor, radiating outward from its ancient rims. Ground sensors that for decades noted nothing but occasional background rumblings now reported the first uptick. Swarms of micro-earthquakes, peaking at over 40 events per hour, the highest ever logged at this site. Residents started to notice something different. Windows rattling, the ground buzzing faintly, a sensation that was hard to dismiss. What startled geologists wasn't just the frequency of these quakes, but their nature. Many were shallow, focused beneath zones long known for buried anomalies. Some shook with a strangely regular rhythm, like the pulse of something alive beneath the surface. At the same time, instruments recorded clear shifts in the terrain itself. Satellite radar showed uplift around the southern rim, a silent heaving of earth, subtle to the eye, but unmistakable to sensitive equipment. Areas thought to be stable had risen by centimetres in a matter of weeks. Then came the geothermal surprises. Sensors in wells and streams, dependable for years, returned unexpectedly high temperatures. Shallow water sources became warmer, even clouded, as if deeper forces had disturbed them from below. The collection of these signs pointed unmistakably to a shift. Deep beneath the McDermott caldera, something was stirring. Is this resurgence an ordinary episode of geologic restlessness? Or does it signal a return to the kind of activity that shaped continents in ages past? Signals in the silence. Unusual earthquakes and ground movements. 
Early signs of unrest might have been easy to overlook, dismissed as background noise in a region crisscrossed by faults and slow continental drift. The Basin and Range Province is, by nature, a restless place. Yet what sets apart this moment, and has drawn urgent warnings from experts, is the unique quality and scale of seismic events now emerging at McDermott. The quake swarm was focused, frequent, but notably shallow most centered at depths less than five kilometers beneath the caldera's southern rim. Instead of the deep, muffled earthquakes common in most tectonic activity, these tremors radiated at frequencies and intensities that pointed toward volcanic processes. Some events showed clear signs of low-frequency shaking, the kind typically produced by fluids or even magma forcing their way through fractured rock. This kind of volcanic tremor is rare in sites long considered dormant. Experts began comparing the waves to those seen before eruptions in distant volcanoes, though the situation at McDermott remained distinct. In parallel, precise ground measurements revealed uplift coming in pulses, not the slow, steady rising typical of groundwater shifts, but cycles of swelling and relaxing, as if an underground reservoir was slowly being charged and then eased. The changes mapped closely to contact zones where ancient rhyolite meets unique clay deposits, sparking debate over whether the deep cause was heat, water, magma, or some combination. All of this did not go unnoticed in the local communities scattered around the caldera. Ranchers and residents reported oddities, fence posts tilting, pastures no longer level, and on still nights, a strange low sound, a distant rolling rumble that seemed to move through the ground more than the air. What does it mean when stone shifts and shudders with new energy? Are these merely warning signs, or is this the earliest chapter of a rare volcanic reawakening? Chemical clues and geothermal surprises, seismic changes compose just half of the story. Chemical and thermal clues completed the picture. Chemical and thermal clues completed the picture. Routine gas monitoring was upended by an unexpected surge in sulfur dioxide emissions over the southern rim. Monitoring sites, long considered routine, suddenly measured enough sulfur that a faint, acrid odor could be detected, a sign of volatile gases rising from below. This was a historic shift. At no time in recorded memory had the McDermott caldera produced gases at this level. Research wells, whether drilled for minerals or geothermal exploration, yielded more surprises. Water in the boreholes grew warmer and cloudier, and temperatures across multiple locations increased together, unprecedented for the area. On north-facing slopes where hot springs had always been tepid, water now bubbled with new heat and minerals. Collecting these samples became hazardous, requiring new safety protocols and forcing researchers to carefully monitor for sharp changes in steam pressure or caustic conditions. From above, satellite imaging revealed changes invisible to the naked eye. Infrared and multispectral data pointed to new bands of mineral efflorescence, evidence of active chemical alteration mapping onto the regions of greatest ground deformation. Even local flora began to shift, as new mosses and lichens took root over fresh ground, signaling rapid and ongoing change at the land surface. Is this convergence of chemical, thermal, and seismic activity merely a passing episode, or does it mark a new phase in the caldera's evolution? With so many signals and so few precedents, it is a question that both excites and unnerves those who study the restless Earth. Lithium, mining, and the looming energy race. Human history and geological history are colliding under the McDermott caldera. Long before the current unrest, the region was recognized as hosting one of the largest known deposits of lithium, a metal crucial to batteries and all facets of renewable energy technology. This lithium is not found in hard rock, but is interwoven into special clays, layers left behind after ancient lake beds dried, crystallizing the wastes of supervolcanic eruptions. The world's hunger for lithium Lithium has catapulted the McDermott caldera onto the global stage. 
With demand at an all-time high, these once-forgotten hills are now battled over by mining companies, investors and policymakers. Forecasts suggest a major lithium mine at McDermott could transform national supplies with huge implications for energy independence and the switch away from fossil fuels. But now, the USGS Red Alert has complicated the calculus. Mining operations have been halted or slowed as safety and risk assessments take top priority. Some have speculated, though with limited supporting evidence, that extensive drilling and groundwater pumping might add to subsurface perturbations, though no direct causal link has been established. Nonetheless, the intersection of mining, water withdrawal and geologic activity has triggered new scrutiny from regulators, engineers and environmentalists. Concerns extend beyond economics. There is unease about the mixing of industrial chemicals with rising geothermal water and questions over whether mining infrastructure, tailings dams, trucks, pipelines can safely withstand serious seismic or volcanic events. While no catastrophic failure has occurred, contingency plans are being reviewed, and environmental groups have called for increased oversight, especially as lithium extraction ramps up in concert with geologic awakening. Could the rush to power the world's electric future end up accelerating ancient forces beneath our feet? Or is the current unrest simply another reminder that humans must always negotiate with nature's deeper timelines? Infrastructure at the crossroads, threats to transport and society. Despite its isolation, the region around McDermott is threaded with vital arteries. US Route 95, cutting through this landscape, connects remote communities to economies and markets across the Northwest. Any major disruption, whether triggered by seismic activity, ground subsidence, or in the worst case, volcanic eruption, could cut off essential supplies and isolate entire towns for days or even weeks. The prospect has sent emergency planners into action. Local authorities have reviewed evacuation routes, tested communication systems, and rehearsed rapid responses, from rural fire crews to state highway departments. Residents, who once worried mainly about blizzards and wildfires, now participate in drills focused on seismic and volcanic hazards. Critical infrastructure is also being re-evaluated. The region's patchwork of water pipelines, electrical grid, and communication lines is vulnerable to ground shifting. Whether that comes gradually, as with uplift and subsidence, or suddenly through earthquakes or landslides. Local clinics, emergency shelters and stores are preparing for contingencies that had only been theoretical just months ago. But for many, the greatest strain is psychological. Lives have changed, schools close for drills, ranchers sleep with portable radios by their beds, neighbours check in with each other more often, the knowledge that a shaking, heaving world lies just beneath one's home breeds a kind of persistent unease, a reminder of human vulnerability amid geologic possibility. The scientific response, chasing the patterns of chaos. The USGS Red Alert has galvanized the scientific community like few events in recent memory. Teams from federal and state agencies, alongside universities and independent researchers, have flooded the area. New seismic instruments blanket the landscape, sampling and recording every tremor. High-altitude drones scan for thermal anomalies, while geochemical teams analyze every shift in groundwater or gas concentration, searching for patterns that might reveal whether magma is really on the move. Around the clock, data streams into command centers west of the caldera. Computer models crunch numbers from ground deformation, seismic waveforms, gas readings, and historic records. Within days, patterns emerged. A shallow magmatic intrusion appeared likely, with new superheated material active within a few kilometers of the surface, straining the crust and forcing open fractures. Yet McDermott stands apart from classic volcanoes. Its vast, collapsed basin means any future activity could take unexpected forms. New vents opening far from the rim or magma moving in silent, cryptic pulses. Scientists have pored over sparse records and local stories, seeking parallels. But McDermott offers few clear comparisons among volcanic giants. Researchers increasingly consult with regional indigenous elders, whose oral traditions reference cycles of darkness, falling ash, and rivers grown hot. 
Echoes of geological change passed down through generations. The blending of high-tech monitoring and long memory reflects a growing humility in approaching a land whose secrets can be slow to yield. What is certain is that few sites of this scale have come under so much scientific scrutiny in such a short period. As the world seeks to understand not just McDermott, but also the ways in which cities, energy systems and technologies intersect with the deep workings of the planet, this episode is sure to shape future science and policy for decades. Ripples through ecosystem and culture. The quakes and alarms ripple out, touching more than technology or industry. McDermott's rugged steps support unique webs of life, burrowing mammals, migratory birds, herds of antelope and wild horses. Changes in water quality and temperature have already altered some animal routines, with anecdotal reports of livestock behaving nervously, wildlife shifting migration patterns, and some springs running unusually hot or cloudy. There are also cultural ramifications. Local tribes recall ancestral stories of times when earth and sky seem to swap places, accounts of darkness and flame, of rivers running strange. Many are now sharing these teachings in new community meetings, offering both caution and perspective as the present and past seem to resonate together. Possible environmental impacts remain a serious focus for biologists and land managers. Volcanic eruptions or ongoing geothermal shifts can contaminate water, disrupt soil structure and threaten decades of conservation efforts. Regional coordination has increased with discussions about how best to protect vulnerable species, rangeland and traditional livelihoods should the unrest escalate. Thus, McDermott's awakening is not only a geological or technological story, it is a saga of ecosystems, heritage, and the challenge of living with the unpredictable heart of the Earth. An unfinished story beneath our feet. Now, as days become weeks, the McDermott caldera's fate remains uncertain. The initial burst of seismic activity has diminished in frequency but not faded completely. Measurements still show uplift and chemical anomalies, and new fractures continue to form beneath the surface. Scientists keep close watch and caution that a period of apparent calm may not reflect deeper activity. Pressures may be continuing to build even in the absence of dramatic earthquakes. For the communities near the caldera, a new awareness prevails. Emergency updates are reviewed carefully. Farmers and ranchers reconsider long-term plans, and children sketch volcanoes onto their school books. The global energy conversation, once focused only on resources extracted from the ground, must now grapple with the volatility that shapes this landscape. Beyond Earth, experts in planetary science are watching, eager to learn from a living laboratory that may shed light on volcanic processes found on other planets. The rhythms beating beneath Nevada and Oregon could provide clues for understanding Mars, the Moon and far-off worlds where geology rules. McDermott's story is still unfolding. If this report has gripped your curiosity, please like, subscribe for updates and share your perspective. Is this a warning for our energy-driven future or another echo from Earth's deep past? We look forward to hearing your thoughts. And as the world waits for the next chapter from the Nevada-Oregon border, remember, the planet's story is always being rewritten, moment by moment, just beneath our feet.